Hey everyone, welcome to another installment of Yes, We're Here. Meredith Morakovitz and John Flaherty with you today. John, how are you doing, my friend? You know what, Meredith, I'm hanging in there, uh, doing the best that we can here in New Jersey. Uh, I know you're there in Florida, and the first thing I have to ask you, over your right shoulder, I'm very curious about the picture by the Emmys. You have to explain that to me. Oh, this guy right here? Let me grab yeah. it. Okay, so this is kind of cool. I started with Yes Network in 2012. That was my first year. Feels like it was yesterday some days, most days. Other days, I feel like I've, you know, been here forever. So my first interview with, was with a man by the name of Derek Jeter. Have you ever heard oh, of him? I, I've heard of him, yeah, I've heard of him. Kind of a big deal. He's supposed to go into the Hall of Fame in July. Time will tell whether or not that they, they have that uh, celebration in Cooperstown. But this is my first ever um, interview with Yes Network. Awesome. That's great. And he signed it for you, which was even he, nicer. He signed it for me, and that's Rob Riley right there, who looks like an angel, because you can see my circle light in the reflection. <laughs> now, I look like an angel. And we all know that that's true, John. Yes, that's a great picture. Thank you. Thank you. So um, his final season, somebody within the Yankees organization said to me, did you get anything signed? And you know, it's look down upon you certainly yes. don't do that it's on the back of your credential you're not supposed to be asking anybody for autographs i never have i do not do that uh but they said this is a different situation you have to do it and i said i can't bring myself to ask him because i feel like that's wildly unprofessional and they said what do you want signed and i said well i would just want the picture that i took which was my first interview at yes network and they said you think he's going to care doing that? I'm like, I don't know. I just feel weird asking. Yeah. So uh, Michael K actually, uh, Michael K got it done for me. So I thank Michael because this is certainly a picture that I cherish. And people come over to my place and they're like, wait, is that really signed? And I'm like, yeah, it is. It's yeah. kind of cool. You know what? I, I know exactly how you feel though, because when I played with him, I had, him, I had to ask him to sign a bat for me. And I was scared to death. I played with this guy for three years and walking over and saying, hey, Derek, would you mind signing a bat? And of course it was no big deal, but you build it up in your mind that it's gonna be a problem and it, it never was. Yeah, and the last thing I want is somebody like thinking that, you know, I'm not doing my job or I'm yes. not conducting myself in a professional fashion, but I do have one more that at some point in time, if I run into him, I think I may, may try to get signed as well and that is the final interview at yankee stadium when he hit that single to the uh to right field and we all yep. know how that turned out yep. and it was the first one to interview him on the field afterwards and ari the photographer for the yankees was taking pictures and she sent me a picture and i'm like that would be pretty cool too that's a no-brainer that that has to get done at some point I know, I have one for Mo too, and I did an event for him not too long, long ago, and he's like, of course, Meredith, I'll sign yeah. that. So I have a list. Right. After they retire, I'm, I'm hitting you up. I'm hitting you up. Now. Uh, you. now, do you have one prized piece of memorabilia? Wow, one piece of memorabilia. Um, like, if, every, if you had a second to just grab the one thing that's nearest and dearest to your heart, what would you take? I would say it'd probably be the the first base hit that I got. I had a double in my first at bat. I uh, was given that baseball, and it's kind of a, a weird story. My I had an ex girlfriend who I was dating in the minor leagues who had that baseball. We broke up, and of course I'm like I can't ask for the baseball back. And she was kind enough to send it back to me a year later, and I got that baseball. And it used to be uh, it used to be displayed at my old place, but I have it downstairs. So that would probably be the one piece of uh, memorabilia that I would fight for. Now, what was that conversation like? Or did she just say, you know what, this is the right thing to do? Did she send it without you calling or did you have to make the phone call? Okay, so in 1992, I was in the major leagues. I got that hit. We broke up that off season. I went to play winter ball. And in 1993, I was in AAA in Pawtucket, Rhode Island, and that's where she lived. She showed up at a game, sat above the dugout, and I was like, okay, this isn't gonna go well. 
And after the game, she handed me the baseball and said, you, you need to have this. So kudos to her. Wow, I like that. I have some respect for that. That's, that's a cool thing for her to do. That's a cool <laughs> Not thing. Not too many first baseball hits go through that type of, uh, uh, up of a relationship, Meredith. I think we put that one in the book, though. Now, is there something memorabilia-wise from somebody else that you have that is your favorite? Um, I would say there's a, there's a picture of Jorge Posada and myself in spring training, and you know catchers do all these blocking drills and all these other things. And there was a great picture of Jorge and I, which was actually in ESPN, the magazine, uh, where we both had our gear on and we were both, both blocking baseballs, and uh, I had him sign that for me. So that's one of those ones that is, uh, I think when you retire, you miss the, the spring training and getting ready for a season and all the stuff that goes in behind the scenes and to be able to work with uh, Jorge for three years and become friendly with him was pretty special. So that'd probably be a nice piece too. Now you were down at spring training for a little while, but you didn't get all that many games in. How much are you missing baseball right now? Realizing there are bigger things to worry about in the world, but that doesn't mean you can't be a little bit sad yeah. that you don't have baseball as well. I mean, this time of year, you know, we go through opening day and we look forward to it and we prepare for it and we get ready for it. And when it didn't happen, um, you know, it didn't feel great. But I think I'm one of those people, hopefully you know me this well, I'm always looking forward. I'm always looking forward to something good. And uh, hopefully when we get back to it, uh, it'll be exciting. We can get some sort of a season in. Uh, but to be honest with you, when I sit here and I watch all the news and I see all these people on the beach in Clearwater, I immediately think Meredith Morakovic, she better not be on that beach. She better be social distancing. So we haven't talked since I've been watching those reports. Were you out on the beach in Clearwater? John, you know, I am a rule follower. They tell that's me why I, that's distance. why I'm going to ask this again. Were you on that beach in Clearwater? It's actually not a lasting matter, but I, when people say, have you been social distancing? I feel like I've been preparing for this my whole life. <laughs> like, finally, something I'm good at, right? Uh, no, but I actually did go to the beach one day before all those photographs came out. But there is a part on Clearwater Beach, North Beach, where it's completely residential. There are no hotels or anything because... I did take it seriously. I had been around a lot of people. I felt yeah. fine. I didn't have any symptoms. I didn't want to get sick personally. I don't want to get sick. But also, I don't want to get anyone else sick who has yeah. a compromised immune system. So I walked miles and miles to get to this part of the beach where I knew there would be no people. And I okay. accomplished that goal. But Flash, one thing that I did not consider in my... Uh, in my trek was that I put suntan lotion on before I left my condo and then by the time walking in 80 degree weather I got to my secluded part of the beach where no people were I think that that might have come off and I did get a little <laughs> bit of a Florida burn a little so. sunburn okay well Wasn't good. I, no, I, I, did not, I social distanced and I have not left my house since last Sunday Wow. Good for you. The only time I leave my place is to go get food. And I got uh, my two sons are here with me and they're 18 and 20. And these kids, it's amazing when you really pay attention to how much food they can put away. So I had to go to the grocery store yesterday. And Meredith, it's crazy up here in New York and New Jersey. I mean, you're probably getting reports, but uh, you know, the being in the supermarket, it's like, you're, you try to get in and get out as soon as you can and you know the Purell and all that stuff it's uh but these guys are they're making it tough on me Meredith you know they're eating everything that I bring in the house now do you have an outdoor fridge like a garage fridge as well that you can kind of stock a little bit no yeah. no so I'm uh I got the freezer stocked I got all the food you know the vegetables and fruits and all that stuff but you know I got one guy who's training he's going to play football in college next year so he wants all this healthy stuff and chicken and you know he's trying to put on weight, so it's uh, it's a challenge to keep these guys uh, calorie driven. Let's put it that way. I imagine. Now you you've been eating super clean, so are you still doing plant based throughout all this, or have you have you gone off off course a little bit? We got some peaks and valleys there, Meredith. We got peaks and valleys. I, I'm doing the best that I can. I had a bad weekend. I got off the rails a little bit, 
And on Monday morning, I said, all right, I got to get back to it. So it's been a good couple of days. Uh, and, you know, I'm trying to keep my workouts going, trying to be back out on the street, running a little bit, trying to, to get some miles in. But, you know, you know, you try to eat as healthy as you can, too. And sometimes when you're sitting here and you got nothing to look forward to, and I think most importantly for me, when I'm off my routine, the plant base gets a little, little wavy. It goes a little bit over that way. Yes. Well, friend. I have a great vegetable soup recipe for you, and I'm going to send right. you the vegan pad thai recipe, too. You can freeze both of them. You'll be good to go. You're set for the week, then. Send me a text. Send me a text. Right. Let me know. We'll do. Maybe we can do, like, a cooking segment next time. Yeah, well, your cooking is going to be a lot more elaborate than my making of sweet potatoes and broccoli. It's pretty much all I can do. Maybe some string beans. So I need some recipes. I'll try them out and we'll, we'll go back and forth on how bad I fail. I like it, and you have two people that can be taste testers. No, <laughs> no, they're, they're like, you're gonna do the plant base, and we're going for the steak, chicken, uh, french fries, potatoes, all of that stuff. Man, tough crowd in the Flaherty house. They are, they're tough, they are tough. Since I haven't talked to you yet, very quickly, before I let you go, I've been asking people this. If you had to be quarantined, with one member of the Yes Network crew, <laughs> who would it be? I don't like where this, this is going. Um, wow, I would have to say it would be Bob Lorenz. Um, I like it. Because we've spent a lot of time together and we, we definitely get along. Um, but there are some certain, yeah, there's some, there's some concerns with him and I spending that much time together. I think you probably know what they are. Uh, but I think we wouldn't kill each other if we were quarantined together. So that's a positive. He's funny. He's smart. He's interesting. And he has all the candy. So I think you made yes. a good choice, my friend. Great point. <laughs> all right, Flash, have a good rest of the day. I'm sure we'll catch up again soon. Thanks, Meredith. Send me those recipes. I look forward to them. I will. And for everybody that missed some of these, don't forget, tonight on Yes Network, 7 o'clock, we're going to have a highlight show. So if you missed the Zach Britton interview, the Adam Adovino interview, Grady spoke to a couple of nets. Uh, it'll all be on Yes tonight at 7. But until then, we'll see you next time.